Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about morning basket, also known as morning time in our house. So I'm going to kind of go through what is in our morning basket. I'm going to show you a little glimpse into what our morning time looks like and then I'm going to talk about how you can get started implementing a morning time into your homeschool day. So a brief background on our morning basket morning time. So we have only been doing morning basket for about a month and it has taken me almost three entire school years to make that happen. And I finally figured out why? Why is this so hard for me? Why can I not get this together? Why can't I make this happen? Everybody else does it. What is wrong? I've, I finally figured it out. So that is what I'm going to share with you. So I have three things that you can do to make morning time, morning basket successful in your homeschool. So the first very first thing is probably the most important and that is for you mom to have a morning routine. I bet that is not what you thought I was going to say. How does me having a routine have anything to do with morning basket? This is how. So it has taken me several years to get into a really good morning routine. And as a mom and as a homeschool mom, um, I just, I can't recommend like having a good morning routine enough. So um, just, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be like elaborate, an elaborate like morning routine. Um, it can be simple and you don't have to have a lot for it to be impactful. So, I mean, it's, it's mostly about self care, right? Because we, as, Homeschool moms are with our kids literally all the time. And we need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. So, um, you know, things that I do, um, I get up and I spend time um, reading my Bible, doing my devotions, um, I work out and I get ready for the day. I have my coffee or have your tea. You know, these are things that you can do. You can write, reflect, pray, um, get ready for the day, uh, whatever that looks like for you. And it doesn't have to mean like, you know, doing your hair and makeup, whatever that looks like for you. I might do my hair and makeup every day, but I definitely am still wearing leggings and like a sweatshirt or something. So again, it doesn't have to be like this glamorous thing for it to be impactful. Um, and what I have seen is that when I am ready for the day, I, I am more ready to like tackle the things, all the things. And it, it definitely like sets, you're setting yourself up to be in a good mindset to take care of your kids and really pour into them once you have poured into yourself. So that's the first thing. The second thing to make your morning basket successful is to keep it simple. Keep it simple, especially at first. Now I think that it will evolve as time goes on, as your kids get older, um, as you know, your family grows and changes, as interests change and you know things adapt. Um, in just the month that we have been doing it, we have already been able to add things to our morning basket. Um, but you want to keep it simple. So, you know, start with a daily reading. Like, so we do a Bible reading. And if you are not um, a believer, obviously this part you would omit. Um, but for us, we do a Proverbs a day. And I read this in a book. And if I can think of what it's called, I will link it below. I, I know it. I have to find it, but I will link that below. Um, but she recommended, and I'm like, oh, this is so good. Why have I never done this? Uh, she recommended reading a Proverbs a day according to the date. So like today is February 3rd. So this morning we read Proverbs 3, the chap the whole chapter. Sometimes we don't get through the whole chapter. Um, but 
usually I try to persevere, as you'll see in this clip that I'm going to show you. Um, try to get through that. Like, just get through the first thing. Um, so we read a Proverbs a day. Um, you can read poetry. Put a poetry book in there. Just read a few pages of uh, out of a poem book. Uh, <laughs> which there are tons and tons, like I could recommend so many. I'll show you what we have in ours. Um, do a devotion. Picture books. That can be your morning basket. Your morning basket can literally just be reading picture books from the library or from your own bookshelf. Um, songs, simple songs, hymns, if you want to do a hymn. Um, doing the days of the week song, the months of the year song things like that. You could even, and this is something that I plan to add in down the road, um, you could do skip counting, um, like multiplication songs. I know that they, um, the good and the beautiful has their multiplication song songs. Um, I'm not familiar with those yet. I just know that they exist because we are not to that point yet. But these are all things that you could put in your morning basket to start. So, my advice is to start with one thing. Pick one thing that is the most important to you to do with your children first thing in the morning. Pick what that one thing is, start with that. Once you have done that for two or three days or even a week, then add in something else. So we started with uh, reading the Proverbs and doing our devotion. Um, and then we have added as the things as weeks have gone on and again I will show you everything that is in ours at the end um, but that's it like I know um, there are some families who do a lot of their school day in their morning time and you might evolve to that point we might evolve to that point. I don't know um, but I do know that when you want to just get started keep it simple Start with one or two things that are the most important and run with that. And then the last and final tip that I have is to just start. If you have a good morning routine, you yourself as mom, and you have picked out those two things that are just the most important, like this is what I, like if, if we do nothing else today, these are the one or two things that we will do that I will then feel accomplished. I will feel like we did something. Once you have that, just start. Pick a day and just say, this is a day. This is what we're doing. This is this is when we're doing it. Let's go. That is what I did. I just finally said, we're going to do this on Monday or Tuesday. I think we started on a Tuesday. And that was it. And then every morning after that, my kids expected it. They know what we're doing in the morning now. And it's just so funny because kids want routine. They want to know what to expect. So when you give that to them, they eat it up. So if you just start, they will know, okay, this is what we do. After breakfast, we do morning basket. Or if you do it before, if you, you can do it during, I know a lot of families do it during breakfast. I have too many little kids, like that's not possible for me. So we do it after breakfast. We sit, we gather in the living room and we sit down um, all together and, you know, the little ones have their toys. We, I have a bin of magnetiles that we keep in our living room specifically for morning time so that there is something for them to do, something for them to play with while we are doing it. And we just started. That's it. And the other thing that I wanted to say is... Instead of saying, okay, we're going to do this every single morning from here until forever, don't overwhelm yourself. Just aim for doing it once or twice a week. If you do it once or twice a week, you are succeeding. I promise you. Like, you're doing it. You're doing morning basket then. Um, and then if you feel like your your kids are ready to, like, to do more, if they're expecting it every day, do it every day. We started with just doing it a few days a week, and now we do it every single day of the week. Not just during the week, during the weekdays, or during school days. We do it Sunday through Saturday. Sunday, sometimes we miss because we are also, we go to church on Sunday morning, so sometimes we just don't have enough time. 
but we we do it Monday through Saturday for sure every single morning now and they know that it's happening and they're expecting it and um it is just it has been so wonderful to have that time and I will say as a homeschool mom to lots of kids lots of little ones if all we do in a day is do morning basket we have succeeded and I can go to sleep that night knowing hey we did that if we did nothing else if we accomplished not one other thing that day which was today by the way we have we have done something they have done something they have learned something they have been read to they have been cared for and it's gonna be okay like then you can rest assured that you did something very impactful that day if that is all that you accomplished. So with that being said, now I'm going to show you a clip of what morning time looked like for us today. Like this happened today and you will see um, lots of different things happening here. So just to give you a brief rundown, I have a seven-year-old, six-year-old, four-year-old, two-year-old, and a newborn, okay? Five, five kids, seven and under. So, with that in mind, what you're about to see is so real life. I, you know, try to gather everyone on the couch and we just start, whether we're ready or not. And you will see that, you know, we continue through about 37 interruptions between the toddlers fighting over toys, someone's crying, the baby needs this, um, you know, I want to read this, I want to read that, like, you know, my two older sons, they like to try to read our proverb, and so we kind of all take turns. Yes, it definitely takes way longer, but if they're showing interest in wanting to read that, I'm not going to deny them. Whether this takes us, you know, 45 minutes for a 20 minute morning basket, that's fine. But I just wanted to show, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I almost just got up and stopped recording us at one point because it was a complete crap show. Like just a giant cluster. And I'm like, you know what? No, I am going to film this and show the world because I, want to be an encouragement and want to show that, you know, these perfect Instagram spreads and videos and things that you see, while that they may very well happen to for some people and happen some of the time, that is not real life and that doesn't happen all of the time for everyone. So I really want to be an encouragement to show you that you can do morning basket even when your kids are willy-nilly like my kids were this morning like they were cray Ugh. um but we got through it we got it done we didn't do all of the things but we did most of the things and that's what matters so with that check this out
What'd you think of that? Yeah, mm hmm It was a complete crap show. Just people everywhere, things happening, lots of things happening. So, now that you have seen what is the reality, and again, that doesn't happen every day, but sometimes that, that's gonna happen. Um, I just want to very quickly show you what is in our morning basket. So, every morning, like I mentioned earlier, we read a Proverbs a day. So we just go according to the date. Today was February 3rd, so we read Proverbs 3. That's what we start with every day. We don't always read the whole proverb. We get I get to as much as I can. If they're getting a little antsy, then we just move on. This is the next thing that we do is this devotional from Amazon. I will link it below. It is wonderful. We've actually read most of it, but we're going through it again, and it is awesome. It's science and um, faith-based, so I like that like they tie you know the scriptures into science things, and it's just really cool. It's a really cool devotional for kids. Then we do a little bit of poetry. So we are reading through the classic, Where the Sidewalk Ends. They are loving this, and it's very nostalgic for myself, if I must add. And then I also got this one from Amazon, and this one is so cute. I'm so glad. If you have kid, little kids who love Daniel Tiger, this one, it's just, it's so cute. Um, the illustrations in it are really just, it's just really cute. It's just... It's very Mr. Rogers themed poetry and they're they're short and sweet but just really perfect for younger kids. The next thing we do is this more than words from uh, Rebecca Spooner. Um, this is a Bible curriculum. I was doing this in our school day and I realized that we weren't getting to it most of the time. And I'm like, you know what? Like we've got a, this is, it's a really, really nice um, Bible curriculum. And I'm like, I don't want that to like go to waste. Like when can we do this? Morning Basket has been perfect because the lessons are really short and sweet. So I just keep it in here. We keep their pencils in here and we go through it. I will link this down below. We have done the level one two years in a row and it's been great. I really, really enjoy it, and so do the kids. <clears throat> I am on the hunt for something for my preschooler to do when we're doing that, though, because he it's a little too old for him, so I am on the hunt for something for him. And then the last thing that we I just recently added was how to tie your shoes. Like, I did not know that I had to teach them how to tie their shoes. Like, I knew that like, man, I really gotta teach these kids how to tie their shoes. Like, when are we gonna do that? When am I gonna teach them how to tie their shoes with all the other things that I have to do? Morning basket. Like, that's when, y'all. Like, that's when we do it. So, um, I added this in this week. I will link uh, the shop that I got these from uh, down below. Arrows and Applesauce is her Etsy shop. And um, these, it's taken one week and they got it. They got, I mean, they got the shoe tying thing. So um, that's what's in our morning basket right now. And then the basket that I have, that I keep everything in, is just very simple. I got this from Target. I will link it down below. Um, I tried to find something that I just had in the house. You can throw it in a stinking bread bowl if you have, like, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This was like 10 bucks from Target. Um, just something to throw all your stuff in and keep it in your living room. Um, I showed you at the beginning of the video, you might have seen like where we keep ours. We keep it right in our living room all of the time. It stays out there 24 seven. Like it's just a fixture in our living room now. So that when we wake up, we know like this is what we're doing in the morning. So that's it. I really hope that you found this encouraging and helpful. Um, if you did, 
I would love for you to subscribe and hit that thumbs up for me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.